The main purpose of the accessibility features in Microsoft Office is to make content easy to see and easy to understand. This tutorial provides several tips and rules that, if followed, will greatly improve the accessibility of your Microsoft Office content. The first area that you must concentrate on when creating an accessible document is text. Certain fonts, sizes, and styles are more visibly accessible than others. Your font size should fall between 12 and 18 point. This ensures that the text is not so small that it is difficult to read and not so large that the format becomes cluttered. Bold, italics, underlining, and capital letters can all be used to emphasize specific text, but it is important that these are used sparingly. Try to use a normal weight for the majority of your text. Whenever possible, use a standard font over a fancy font. Sans serif fonts are often more accessible than serif fonts. Here you can see an example of a serif and a sans serif font. The second area that you must concentrate on when creating an accessible document is contrast. In the context of a Microsoft Office document, contrast is the level of dissimilarity between the objects on a page and the background they lie on. When creating content on Microsoft Office, you must maintain a contrast ratio of at least 4.5 to 1. Black text on a white screen provides a very good contrast ratio of 21 to 1. Text with an acceptable contrast ratio on a white background will appear like this. Once your contrast ratio dips below 4.5 to 1, it is no longer accessible. To ensure that your contrast ratio is acceptable, always place your text on a solid background, never on a repeating image or pattern. As you can see here, text layered over an image can be very difficult to read. A final contrast tip is to not use color alone to provide information. Utilize shape or text in conjunction with color to display information. Your content should be equally accessible in grayscale. A chart that looks like this is perfectly understandable, but switch it to grayscale and all meaning is lost. If you follow these simple rules, your document's contrast should be accessible. A final way to ensure this is to visit the following free color contrast checker tools. It is not enough for your content to be visible. It must also be understood clearly. There are several steps you can take in your writing to ensure that your content will be understandable to both people and assistive devices. Anytime you use acronyms or abbreviations, make sure that you clearly describe their purpose or meaning. Try to leave a good amount of white space around your content. This will allow for a clean and easily understandable document. When using hyperlinks, make sure that you provide context for where the link will send the user. If you want to create a hyperlink that sends users to your homepage, don't use a hyperlink that simply says, click here. Instead, label the hyperlink as the destination. This tutorial has gone over the basics of how to ensure your Microsoft Office content is accessible. The following tutorials will examine the specific accessibility features of the individual Microsoft Office programs. Thank you for watching this Microsoft Office accessibility tutorial.